Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I am now answering question number six from the International A Level Pure Mathematics P1 June 2021 exam. This question here tells us about a curve with equation y equals f of x, where x is greater than greater than zero. We're told that given that the curve C passes through the point 8, 2, which is a point P, and that the um, first differential, the first derivative, the gradient function, you could say, of this curve y equals f of x is 32 divided by 3x squared plus 3 minus 2 times the cube root of x. Find the equation of the tangent to C at P. Write your answer into the for, in the form y equals mx plus c, where m and c are constants to be found. Okay, so to find the equation of a tangent, which is a straight line, we need two things. One of them is the point at which we have to find the, um, you know, the, the point at which the line passes through. So the tangent to c passes through the point p. Okay, so that's the point. That's already given to us. And the second thing we need to know, know is the gradient of that tangent. Now, the gradient of a curve at any particular point is found by using its first derivative. So we already have that. It's already the first derivative. This is the gradient function. So when basically, if we substitute inside the gradient function x equals 8, that will be the gradient of the tangent at p, because at p, x equals 8. So if we put 8 instead of x inside this gradient function, that will be the gradient of the tangent. So 32 divided by 3 times, this is 8 squared, plus 3 minus 2 times the cube root of 8, and that will give us the gradient function. Okay, so this is 32 divided by 3 times 64, plus 3 minus 2 times the cube root of 8, which is 2, so this 32 and 64 cancels 1 and 2. That's 1 over 6 plus 3 minus 4. So that's 3 minus 4, which is minus 1. So it's 1 sixth minus 1, which is negative 5 over 6. So we can say the gradient of the tangent to the curve is minus 5 over 6 at P. So we have enough information now to find the equation of the tangent. Okay, so we can do it in two ways. I could use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Some students prefer to use y equals mx plus c, this form. I'll just show you both ways. So you have y minus the y-coordinate of the point that we know, which is 2, equals m, which is a gradient, which is minus 5 over 6, times x minus the x-coordinate of the point that we are given there. And because we want to find it in the form y equals mx plus c, we're going to make y the subject of this, so I will just basically expand this bracket as it is. So it's minus 5 over 6x plus 40 over 6, which is 20 over 3. And then I add 2 to both sides, so you have minus 5 over 6x plus, this is like um, 6 over 3, so 20 plus 6 is 26 over 3. So there's the equation of the line. If you prefer to use this method here, which is fine in this particular question. Well, we know the point P was 8, 2, wasn't it? And the gradient at the point, uh, at that point was minus 5 over 6. So we can just take the y value as 2 equals minus 5 over 6 times x, which is 8, plus c. So we can find what c is this way. So you have 2 equals, that's going to be, minus 20 over 3 plus c so you have 2 plus 20 over 3 equals c so c is equal to that's going to be um, 6 over 3 plus 20 over 3 which is 26 over 3 so therefore we can say y equals mx m is minus 5 over 6 x plus 26 over 3 so of course you get the same answer okay whichever way you prefer you can use this absolutely fine okay now for part b Part B says, um, find in its simplest form f of x. So this is the information that we're given. So we know that the gradient function is given by 32. I'm going to actually write this in, in a way that's easier for me to, because we're going to have to integrate this to find the original function. This is a gradient function. We have to go from the gradient function to the original function. So we have to integrate. 
Okay, so I'm going to make this compatible for or easy to int integrate by writing it in index form with the, all the x values on the numerator. This is x to the power of minus 2 plus 3, and you're going to have minus 2 times the cube root of x is like x to the power of 1 third. Okay, so now it's like easy to integrate. So I'm now going to integrate this. When I integrate both sides, this becomes f of x. And this becomes, well, when you integrate it, you add 1 to the power. So you have 32x to the power of minus 1. And divide by the new power. So you have to multiply this 3 by minus 1, so you get minus 3. Plus a constant becomes an x term, so plus 3 becomes plus 3x. And again, you add 1 to the power, so uh, 1 third plus 1 is 4 over 3. And divide by the new power, so you divide by 4 over 3. Okay, so let's simplify this. So you have, um, don't forget the plus c. Very important, especially here, because there's a constant of integration that you must write here. Um, and we've got to actually find what that is. That's going to be part of our answer. If you leave it out, you're going to lose marks. So f of x is equal to, I'm going to rewrite this in a way that makes it easier for me to substitute values. So I'll put minus 32 over 3x to the power of 1, so 3x, plus 3x, and over here, you're going to uh, multiply by the reciprocal. So this would be minus 3 over 4 times 2x to the power of 4 over 3 plus c. So let's just tidy this up a bit first. So you have f of x equals, so this is all right, th minus 32 over 3x plus 3x. Now this cancels with this. So you're going to have minus 3 over 2. And I'll rewrite this in a way that's easy for me to substitute. The cube root of x to the power of 4. Remember, the if you have a fractional index, the numerator is the power and the denominator is the root. Don't forget the plus c. So now I know that it passes through the point p, which is 8, 2, and that will help me to find the value of c because I can replace the x with 8 and the y with 2. Now this is like the y. This is like y equals. So I can take this as 2 equals minus 32 over 3 times 8 plus 3 times 8 minus 3 over 2 times a cube root of 8 to the power of 4 plus c. So when I find c, I can then include it in this and I'll have my answer. So you have 2 equals uh, 4, so that goes 1 time and that goes 4 times 4, eighths to 32. So minus 4 over 3 plus 3 eighths are 24. Um, minus 3 over 2 times. Now the cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So 3 over 2 times 16 plus c. That cancels with that, giving you an 8. So you have 2 minus 4 over 3. 2 equals minus 4 over 3. And you're going to have plus 24 minus 24 plus c. That becomes 0. So c is equal to 2 plus 4 over 3. Add 4 over 3 to both sides. And that gives you 6 over 3 plus 4 over 3, which is 10 over 3. So we know that C is equal to 10 over 3. So I can rewrite my answer now as F of X, this is my final answer, equals mm, minus 32 over 3X, minus 32 over 3X, and I have uh, plus 3X, and we've got minus... 3 over 2 times the cube root of cube root of um, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 4, and plus 10 over 3. That is my function, f of x, including that constant of integration. It, we know its value now because we had the point on the, on the curve. So there we have the answer to part b. And that's question 6, I think, completed. Yes, that's the end of question 6. And there we have it. The answer to question six. Other questions from this particular paper, June 2021, you'll find in the playlist that will appear in a link that should show up at the end of the video in this area. Underneath that, you should have questions related to integration from um, P1. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that will appear over here. In the description of uh, the video, underneath the video, you will find links to my other papers, um, P1, P2, P3, P4, S1, M1, as well as some IGCSE papers. Um, if you would like to see those, thank you for watching and see you soon.